Hi, I'm Jack Foster, and I'm a Londoner. I love my city. I think it is one of the most exciting cities in the world. I enjoy driving, but I almost never drive in London. For one thing, it's too expensive. You have to pay a congestion charge to drive in central London. And if you do drive in the city, you spend most of your time stuck in traffic. And parking is even more expensive than petrol. So I always get around the city by public transport. London has a great bus network. And the Tube is the oldest underground system in the world. But it definitely isn't the cheapest. Public transport in London is much more expensive than in many other cities. Luckily, since 2010, there's been a cheaper alternative to the buses, Tube and cars in London. And it's a healthier alternative too. This is London Waterloo, the busiest railway station in Britain. And right next to the train station is this, one of the many cycle hire docking stations around London. At each of these stations, you can borrow a bike for making short journeys around the city. About 3,000 people hire bikes from here every week. Londoners nicknamed these bikes Boris Bikes, after Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London when the scheme started. You have to pay a small fee to join the scheme, but then you can borrow a bike for up to 30 minutes for free. The bike sharing scheme has proved popular both with commuters and visitors to the city. Of course, London isn't the only city with a bike-sharing scheme, and it isn't a new idea. There have been schemes around since the 1960s, but with new technology like GPS, cash cards and smartphones, local authorities have been able to make the schemes more secure and much easier to use. There are now bike-sharing schemes in over 165 cities around the world, with more starting up all the time. Some of the most successful schemes are the Vélib in Paris, Dublin Bikes in Dublin, Ireland, Bissing in Barcelona, and Bixi in Montreal, Canada. But the biggest scheme is in Hangzhou, China, which has more than 60,000 bicycles. Unfortunately, despite the success of the Boris bikes, London still isn't the most bike-friendly city. There are some bike lanes, but often bikes, cars and buses have to share the roads, and this can be dangerous. So, there are a few things everyone can do to make their bike trip safer, whether you're on a Boris bike or your own bike. Firstly, you have to obey the rules of the road. You mustn't cycle on the pavements. And you mustn't cycle through red lights. You should wear a helmet and bright clothes. You don't have to wear a helmet to ride a bike in the UK, but it's probably a good idea. You really shouldn't use your phone or wear headphones while cycling. You must be able to see and hear what is going on around you. But if you are careful, a bike is the best way to see a city like London. And being able to borrow one for free makes it even better.